hello beautiful people welcome to our channel if you're new to this channel please uh endeavor to like share and subscribe and this channel will bring about crime and controversy happening in nigeria and africa at large um, so in the news today um, i want to tell you give you a good reason why you must stop praying for nigeria and uh, just work hard for yourself and pray that um, maybe one day things is going to change or maybe there will be a revolution or restructuring because uh, at the present level that country is sinking is a sinking sand and it's going to a situation where people will get so poor that people would rise up and fight up the established corruption killing maiming going on lack of rule of law no respect for order <laughs> let me explain something to you now for example now look at the last election that happened uh, the last primaries pdp atiku and co they were just sharing dollar it was a dollar rate atiku and wiki it's about who had more dollar more they were just sharing money squandering money you understand and um the same thing in apc tinibu is just sharing money Oh, but see, Bajo is just sharing too. The small one they can share. Tinibu is sharing. And tomorrow you will come and tell me Nigeria will be good. Those money they are sharing, you think they will not collect it back. So people will just come and say the country doesn't have money. The small one they have, they are not using it well. Squandering it on necessary things. Instead of building railways, why not use it to fix power? Hmm? Instead of building railways, why not use it to fix power? Look at all the roads in the country. Mess is a mess. No water, no electricity. From state roads to federal roads, the governors are sharing their own. The presidency is sharing their own. No accountability in the whole statistics, except one or two. People just share money like, like it's bread. And yet the masses are there killing themselves for religion. In the north, they are killing people because of blasphemy. In the south, the Fulani terrorists and some group of uh, our people are in the bush killing people, criminals, criminals of our own extraction, killing people. And now you come and tell me, you, you, they saying it that the country will be good. Why don't you go there and go, go to the country and go and live? Go to the villages, the fringes, where the insecurity is. Go and stay there and feel comfortable. The whole country is a mess, complete mess. From ex-governors to Ojuzo Kalu, from the north Ojuzo, from the south south uh, Iboria and the rest. Not it's not criminals. And you come and be telling me the country will be good. You're praying for the country. Instead of you to do the right thing and let, let, let us organize and start a revolution to fix the country. You're there deceiving. The country can never be good. Now we now have fake people like Reno Mokri, FFK. These are men without integrity. It's just about who where they will benefit. They don't care. They will tell you they are men of God. It's where they benefit they go for. And you will come and tell me they go, ah God. The country can never be good. Now, if criminal elements in the South commit a crime, the Northerners will say it's true. The ones in the North commit a crime, the Northerners will be shielding them. Abakari that has committed a crime that is supposed to be extradited. Uh, Abakari a hush puppy is still in Niger. Yahoo Yahoo boys from the south that stole money, they have extradited them. You know, these are the injustices we face in the country. That is why I still keep on saying that it's time to go regional. It's time the country goes regional government. Let us have a central system where we have six presidents. And once the six presidents will select one ceremonial president, the mineral resources will be owned by the federal government, and the uh, six regions will share the industrial. Um, each region will have any industry that comes there, the taxes for them. You know, they will know how to share the percentages, and they will have regional police and the central police and. Um, um, central army. The other countries that will do it, we can just copy and paste. I think we can move forward like that. The country is sinking. Stop praying for the country. Anyway, what are your thoughts of this whole thing?
Do you think the country can ever be good? Do you think there's any solution to this madness going all over the country? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.